What's, what's good, YouTube? Spiral out 90704 coming at you. Um, so, I noticed in one of my videos there was a comment left asking me if I could make a video uh, explaining why I don't use entheogens any longer. Um, I thought that was a really good question, and uh, I think that would be a really great video to make, so I decided here it is. Um, so before I get into the point where I tell you why I stopped using entheogens, um, I think it would be kind of noteworthy to, you know, explain how they came into my life and why I started using them in the first place. So, you know, we could see the picture full circle, um, so to speak. So, entheogens first came into my life when I was still a teenager uh, in the form of psychedelic mushrooms, uh, psilocybin cubensis, you know, standard gold caps. I uh, tried them a couple times when I was a teenager and I, you know, I found them to be uh, very uh, revealing, uh, so to say. Um, and I started using entheogens more heavily when I got into my late teenage years, into my uh, early 20s, and so on. Um, so the reason why I used them was because uh, I always got something out of entheogens. It was never really something to use just to get high on. It was never really some like drugs to use uh, to escape or any of that jazz. Um, entheogens don't really offer you that. Um, and you know I've had people bring up the argument that like oh no you were just trying to escape or no you were just trying to get high and, and, or, or you know what, whatever and it's like man like, trust me, if I, uh, it's like, if I wanted to just get high, I would have gone out and done a lot of other stuff, because, uh, you know, I, I went through my phases with harder drugs, uh, and I got nothing out of them, and, uh, and theogens came into my life and showed me the right path and the right way. Um, now, the reason I stopped using entheogens is mainly after all these years of basically almost constantly tripping. Um, I just got to a point where I was starting to notice the same thing happening in almost every trip I would go on. Because um, you got to remember, um, like... I, the main psychedelic that I was using that appealed to me was uh, LSD. Um, LSD showed me so many great, beautiful things, and it helped me come to terms with so much uh, problematic stuff that has happened to me throughout my short time on this earth. Um, so I was using it for years, and, um, you know, I wasn't... I wasn't doing what people would call recommended dosages. Um, like we were, me and my group of friends, we were eating it like it was going out of style for a real long time. And like I said, it, I just got to a point where it started showing me the same thing over and over. And it it, it reminds me of this old uh, Ken Kesey quote: "When you know, when you get the message, you hang up the phone." And, uh, I got the message, and I hung up the phone. So, uh, that's why I no longer use, uh, I think we could even break this down even further, and I could just add in my little two cents here about, uh, these drugs in general and how I feel about them. Um, as I state in all my videos, uh, that, where I'm telling you, you know, my trip reports or, you know, uh, stories from my past, um, as I mentioned, uh, I don't recommend anyone go out and take these types of drugs. Um, that would be reckless and irresponsible of me. Um, and, you know, I've had some people call me a hypocrite because, uh, you know, I used to do them and I'm telling, 
told not to, but uh, it, it's it's just a legal thing that I have to do, and it's a moral thing as well, because like I said, if I was to recommend anyone go out and take these types of drugs, especially in the dosages and uh, the frequency that I would uh, consume them, that would be reckless and irresponsible and possibly dangerous. Um, but I do believe that everyone has the right to experiment with their own consciousness. I do not believe that there is anything uh, wrong with experimenting with your own consciousness. Uh, now, you can do it at your own will. I'm not recommending that people should. I'm not saying that it, that it will work for everyone. But I believe that anybody should have the right to. Um, you know, for the most part, I've like uh, I, I've had the negative. Ex I've seen the negative side of psychedelics. I've seen the positive side of psychedelics. I've seen the weird side of psychedelics. And um, honestly, I think what it comes down to is. People need to understand that uh, the mind is a very fragile thing. It can be bent in so many strange directions, and uh, some people's mind can't be bent as much as others and remain intact. And once it breaks, you know you're gone. And you could be gone for a very long time. You can be gone for the rest of your life, and, you know, it, it's a gamble. So, you know, know yourself, know your source, know your body, and uh, have a real good day. <laughs> Peace out.